Hi, this is Josh, your EdTech Spec, and today I just wanted to do a little quick demo on Choice Eliminator 2, which is a Google Forms add-on. And we find add-ons here under the little puzzle piece. Um, there you go. And these are the add-ons I have for Forms. If you are looking for where to go get add-ons, then you're going to click the three dots there and click add-ons to get into the add-on store. And these are just form add-ons for you. So. Um, what we're going to talk about is Choice Eliminator, and I'm going to show you this other one I have called All Questions Required, but that doesn't take very long. In any case, so Choice Eliminator um, takes choices off of multiple choice drop down and checkbox questions. So I wanted to make sure that people could see what that looked like. So in the old Choice Eliminator, Choice Eliminator 1, you had to have all questions required, and uh, you can see here that I have. I don't think you have to have them required anymore, but you know, if you're trying to have folks fill those out and it's important that they answer those questions, um, then there's this cool add-on called All Questions Required. You can set all, none, so I'm gonna set this back to none. And you see the little asterisks go away. Now here's where I use um, All Questions Required is when you're testing um, a form and you want to just see how it looks uh, and you have some qu questions required when you test it, that's not a good time to have all your qu questions required so this way you don't have to go through and do them all at one time so I'm gonna go ahead and set all questions as required I don't have to I don't think in Choice Eliminator 2 but it's a nifty thing to have so to start Choice Eliminator 2 we go to into our add-ons and we go to configure and we get this nifty little um, control panel to the side so uh, none of my questions are having choices eliminated so I'm gonna go ahead and tick the box and you see it said creating and it says creating um, I don't know that you have to wait but I always wait until that flashing stops and we get the teal gear over here and this is all good to go you'll notice that uh, the multiple choice indicator question um, this went red instead of gray and uh, the title of the question is multiple choice question under drop down question I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, tick the box wait for that to stop saying create or creating and then there you go and I don't actually want to eliminate my checkbox questions so uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that we are done so if we look at our form as our respondents would see it let's say um, you know we have a fixed number of these options so let's say we're gonna pick option one and the drop down we're gonna pick option three and we'll pick options two and four then we submit so the developer Bjorn Brent um, even says that process time can take on average two seconds so this isn't the sort of tool you're gonna to want to use when you have a lot of respondents coming in at the same time you're bound to get some um, some double choices on um, on, on your eliminated questions but if we go back to submit you'll see one is gone here and three is gone here and we didn't eliminate choices on checkboxes so just as another example we'll do through three and four and option five and we click submit now sometimes it processes much faster and sometimes it's a little slower so if we click submit there you go our stuff's being gone so we went three and four here so an interesting thing to note here is um, that when Choice Eliminator 2 actually works on the spreadsheets, uh, so there's a lot of complicated formulae going on here in the spreadsheet. And what I have noticed is, um, see, we're still loading the spreadsheet here, is sometimes when you have the spreadsheet, see this icon up here, it says add to my drive. I am the owner of this. If I clicked into share control, you'd see that, but sometimes it's not the spreadsheet is not in your drive so if you just click that and add to my drive and if you wanted to click organize you could put it in a folder somewhere I'm not gonna worry about that right now so that's choice eliminator 2 hope that was helpful for you and happy googling